Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video, we added the layout in all of the both pages. So in the create, we changed the layout, the app layout, also the edit and in the index. Okay, in this video, I'm going to modify the post table. So here we have only the title body and is published. I'm going to add one more field for the image and show you how to upload images and also the path of the image i'm going to add it in this field here so let's open the post table and add one more field here so i'm going to say dollar sign table and uh, say string i'm going to name it image and let's close this one let's save it and we need to run the PHP artisan migrate fresh because we added one more column there. We can create a separate migration for that, but I'm going to do it this way. So now if I come here and refresh, we have the image column here. Good. Now let's go and register a new user. Okay, go to the posts and if I say create new post, we have the title and the body and we need to add the input for the image. So let's open the create blade. And first thing we need to add in the form, the ENC type, multipart form data. Okay, and I'm going to copy this, which are for the title, paste it down there and change the label to be image, the input type to be file, and name image. We don't need to provide value here. Also, the error is going to be for the image. Let's save it. And if I refresh, yeah, we have the image here. Now let's open the post controller and if I just say here request, let's remove that post request. And I'm going to say die and dump the request as file okay and add the image here this is going to return true if we choose a file or false if we don't choose any file here so let's say i'm going to choose this one and say create and we're going to return true so we die and down this one if i go back and I'm not choosing anyone, just say create here is going to return false. So in this way, we check if the request has file. And of course, if, if I just say here file, we could then dump the request file image. And let's see now what we have. So refresh, let's choose a file click open, create, and now we have all the fields we need. So we have the original name, the MIME type, the hash name, the path name, base name also, and the size in bytes and so on, type is file. Now, if you go to the Laravel documentation in the digging deeper file storage, here you can uh, learn how to work with uh, file uploads and file storage. You need to. Here we have the configuration, and when using the local driver, all the operations are related to the root directory defined in your file system configuration file. So, in our config file systems here, 
we have the configuration file for the file upload the default file system disk is local but we have the local public and s3 so the local has the driver local and the root is storage path up which mean in the storage up here is going to upload the images the public also has the driver local but the root is inside the app and public here okay and we are going to use this public for that i'm going to copy this and add in the .env file the change we can change it here but i'm going to change in the .env so let's open the .env file and paste the file system disk and say public okay let's save it close this one now auto upload images if you go in the storing files we can say storage facade storage put and the file jpg put method may be used to store file contents on a disk you may also pass a resource to the put method okay copy move and so on you go and uh, read the documentation also we have put file and put file as here choose the folder and say new file path of photo and the photo jpg now we are going to use the store method so this one the request file and the name of the file so the request file image and just call the store method and provide the name of the folder so let's do that let's come here and say dollar sign path is going to be with the request file image and we need to say store call the store method and inside them with the say post to provide the post for the folder and this is going to upload the image inside the inside the storage app public because we modified the file system disk for public okay and now this path i want to add in our uh, image field here so for that i'm going to say first here i'm going to use the what we had before so post or request and let's open the post or request here and validate add the validation for the image so image is going to be required and also is going to be image and we need this thing like this save it and let's close and uh, now if i say right now as it is is going to get the this path but i want the path we get from this uh, upload so what i'm going to say here i'm going to get the val the validated data so i'm going to say validated data is going to be with the request validated and say dollar sign validated data image to be with this okay and let's save it and let's see what we have uh, here we need to say sorry 
Here we need to say validated data. Let's save and let's go and see what is going to happen. Refresh. So one more thing because we added create here. Uh, we need to have this image in the mass assignment. So if I open the post PHP, also here we need to add the image for the mass assignment. And let's go and try. So new post I'm going to say. Choose the image. I'm going to choose this one. Add something here. Let's say create. We redirect it back. And if I come here and refresh, let's select this one. You can see now the image has this path post slash and the hash name generated by Laravel dot PNG. Okay. That's the end. If we go also in the storage app public, here we have the post table. Oh, sorry, post uh, directory. So what we say here and inside the image. Okay, friends, that's it. How easy is the to upload image and also add it to the database. Hope you enjoy. And if you like a content like this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos about that. All the best, friends.